I'm Kyle Ruddy from VMware. I'm part of our technical marketing group. I focus on vSphere. And today, we're going to be talking about what's new with PowerCLI 6.5 Release 1. So high level overview, a uh, couple things to cover. Biggest point here, that there's going to be a name change. So PowerCLI is doing a little bit more than just vSphere and vCenter these days. So we've actually changed it to be VMware PowerCLI. Another big change is we don't have any more snap-ins. And I'll actually be covering a little bit more about that here in just a second. Then we also have some improvements to our core vSphere commandlets, including the ability to now do cross vCenter vMotions with move VM. We can also specify the numbers of cores that a VM can use when you either create it or set it after completion. We also have the ability to use the latest and greatest version of the VMware Remote Console, or VMRC, when using the Open VM Console window commandlet. Then the storage module has received some big upgrades as well. Uh, key points there, a lot of updates to the vSAN commandlets. I'll cover a little bit more about that here in a second as well. Then there is also some updates to these things called vDisks, or virtual disks which really take a look at our, our disks for VMs and put them as more of a top tier object level. And then there's also some commandlets built around vVol replication. And lastly, the Horizon View module has been completely revamped. And I'll cover more about that here in a second too. So again, this is a huge deal for us moving from the use of snap-ins over to being 100% module based. And also, as I said before, with the name change going from vSphere Power CLI to VMware Power CLI, because we do cover quite a few more things than just the core vSphere product. So some examples here are going to be, say, like vRealize Operations, covering storage and vSAN, covering vCloud Air commandlets, as well as Horizon View. So another big thing to the core commandlets has been the upgrade to move VM. So as you probably already know, as of vSphere 6.0, we released a technology or a feature where you can move VMs in between virtual centers. At the time of the release, it was only being able to be done by the UI. So, and then a little, little while later, you could do that by the API. But with this latest version of PowerCLI 6.5, we can do that with the move VM commandlet. Here we have an example. Now one key thing to note here is that everything in the environment when you're trying to do these migrations has to be at least at level 6.0. This includes your, your vCenter, your hosts, even your distributed switches. So keep that in mind when you're using this commandlet. And then also some really big updates to vSAN. So we have a lot of commandlets previously in our even our 6.0 release around using the, the virtual disks or disk groups. With this release, we've actually more than doubled the commandlets available, so now you can do things like automating the entire life cycle of your vSAN clusters. And then lastly, we have the completely rewritten Horizon View module. So if you remember before, you would have to connect to your Horizon View server, connection server, and run the Power CLI shortcut from there. No longer do you have to do this. The Horizon View module is available as part of the Power CLI installer and also gives you complete access to the Horizon View API. That is also something that did not exist before. Now, as a little bit of a helper here, we also have access to the PowerCLI community repository. And out there, you can access some more advanced functions, like say, get HV desktop. So really good, good, uh, good resource that's available out there. So for more information, visit pubs.vmware.com. 